everybody and welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. Um, this is going to be an impromptu uh, tarot um, reading for this young lady, Leah Croucher, Leah, L-E-A-H, Croucher, I believe. Somebody had sent me a message on Facebook saying that she just went to work or something and she disappeared a couple of years ago and nobody has any idea as to where she is. So I'm going to do... Um, uh, reading for her, you know, again depends on how long it takes. I actually wanted to uh, do a reading for uh, what's his face his name that uh, um, Aiden Fauci guy because the other day when I was doing the reading I felt like you know there was more to be told um, and again you know that was an impromptu reading so I figured I'd catch up with that too. So I, I, I'll do a short one for or however long it takes for Leah and then right after that I'm going to do another one for Aiden Fauci. I have a personal reading in a couple of hours so hopefully I'll have enough time for all of that. So um, for all of those who are newcomers to this channel I welcome you. Thank you for giving us a shot. Thank you for joining in check out this channel uh, i do tarot astrology etc uh, personal readings and of course i do the monthly and the energy readings and yearly and weekly and all that good stuff but the main focus of this channel is also to do um to do readings or work on these criminal cases with for all these people who are missing not been found murder suicide you know what have you um and it, it's just in the hopes that you know somewhere somebody sees something and maybe you know uh, I'm not claiming to know it all, I'm just looking at things from a psychic medium perspective and from tarot. But who knows, somebody might have missed something, you know, that was right in front of their nose and then they say, oh no, okay, let's look at it and something may come of it. That's the only hope. I don't stand to gain anything other than that. So um, please do subscribe, give me a thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. And for all my subscribers and my regulars, of course, your comments and your subscriptions and your support is always, always, always truly appreciated. Thank you so much. You guys know I really love you a lot. I mean, without you, this, is, this channel is nothing. So... I do appreciate y'all, okay? So let's get going. And I just got back from work. I was out all day. It's so humid and muggy here. And I'm like, oh my God. I decided to walk because the office wasn't, isn't at, that far away from where I am right now. So I was like, I'm just going to walk home. And oh, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do this reading for Leah, uh, Leah L-E-A-H, Croucher. I'm not going to say the name of the person who suggested it simply because, you know, I don't know if they want to make it public or not. So let me uh, make sure. Uh, okay. Okay, because let me leave that there, leave this here. What time is my scheduled reading? Uh, Hang on, you guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, 6.15, I have to get on a private call. So, oh, my goodness, computer, did you just freeze me? So let's get some energy cards. Of course, my computer is going to wake up, y'all. Uh, I promise. Because I'm telling you, it's the weirdest thing. I've noticed that the computer blinks on me more often when I'm doing readings for these criminal cases per se, and I don't have a better word for it. I mean, this was missing. I mean, they're criminal cases, right? I mean, because they're missing, nobody knows where, when, where, how. Um, then, then when I do my general readings, etc., I notice my computer doesn't blink as often then. So I'm telling you, it's the, it's the energies, y'all. It's the energies. So, and I will do reversals as well. Um, for the longest time, I never used to, and I, and I decided, like, why, why shouldn't I do reversals, you know? So this is for Leah Croucher. I believe she was 18 or 19 or whatever, and a couple of years ago, she, she just walked out from work or to work, and, and she's missing. I don't know anything beyond that. So the first question I'm going to ask is a yes or no question, and this is uh, to ask whether she is deceased, okay? Uh, and checking the volume, okay. Wait, volume, are you all the way up? Yeah. Is Leah Croucher deceased? Give me one second, you guys.
Okay. All right. We just had to do a little bit of a kind of a prayer meditation type of thingy. Sorry for that mug shot, you guys. Uh, camera, come on. We don't need to scare everybody with that face of mine. <laughs> oh, okay. Just when I said that, camera, thank you. We're going to show them a different angle. Oh, camera, okay. Okay, so no response on that. We will ask that question three times, correct? is passed. One more time. One more time. One more time. See, I always ask these questions three times. The first two times there was nothing. The second time, first time nothing, second time nothing, third time I got two, uh, two aces and that basically is a strong yes. But I sense that, and I'm going to ask this three more times, I sense that she is not passed, but she's more like um, confined. That's what I'm getting. She's more confined, but I'm going to ask. Okay, hang on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. I am not sensing that she is passed. I'm just not sensing that. Okay, so two out of five. Four, five. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ten. Okay, three out of six. So that's a 50 50 chance, right? But, right? So y'all would be like, oh, yeah, 50% chance you're alive. And, she wasn't chance she's she's no more well that's a fair question anybody would have a question here's what i say very rarely do i ask yes or no questions so many times because even though the card said no i ke i've kept feeling that uh, even though like i got the two yeses i kept feeling that uh, she wasn't dead she was confined so now what i'm thinking is or what i'm feeling and sensing is that she didn't die right away she was confined and subsequently she has passed so now we get into the main you know, the bulk of the, whatchamacall, uh, the bulk of the camera, can you pop back up? You're seriously annoying me right now. I'm not going to redo the video, y'all. I'm not going to log off and log on because that wouldn't be right. This is... Oh. Yeah, y'all, I feel that she was confined. Okay, oh, there you are. I feel like she was confined. And then she passed. I don't think that the moment she went missing, somebody picked her up and did whatever to her and, and killed her. She was held in confinement for a bit. And then she was, then she was, I'm seeing like almost a thicker, thicker uh, like track pants or jammies, like that slightly thicker material. It isn't that synthetic slippery material that rustles a lot. It's almost that cottony slightly thicker material it's almost like a dark brown or, or a, that's been really faded or a dark blue, dark brown, a weird color. I don't even know how to explain that color. Um, and then it's a very earthy color. And then I see her with like a t-shirt, okay, like a white t-shirt, like a regular crew neck t-shirt. You know, the t-shirts we just with nothing. You go to Costco and buy them in six or 12 packs and you just wear around. Like a t-shirt with half sleeves and then with like a same material, it's not really a hoodie, but kind of a hoodie. I see the tags, like these kind of tags in the front. She's got dark hair. No, does she have dark hair? Who am I seeing? Am I seeing Leo or somebody else? 
almost like a almost like a uh, like a like a red head uh, I, I'm going to use this really weird color they're telling me russet color the color of russet I, have, I want to look up what russet is for God's sake because I don't know what russet is I only know russet potatoes I'm sorry I'm not I'm not trying to be a smart behind or be rude or anything I mean maybe it is russet potatoes the color of russet potatoes maybe that's what hang on you guys I'm trying to find this what what is russet hmm Oh goodness. Uh, give me one second, y'all. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out what this. See, that's the thing. I don't know. They're telling me russet, russet color, the color of russet, russet potatoes. Okay, so I can't find. I don't know what that color is. So I'm going to explain it the best I can. She's a redhead, but not a redhead. She's got, she's not like the typical, typical redhead type of thing. Although when you look at her straight up, you'd say, oh yeah, she's a redhead. But she's got a lot of chestnut in her hair. Is that her? Somebody tell me, because, or maybe she's a light chestnut with a lot of red in it. I don't know. It, <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, Leia, honey, tell me what you got. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Okay, she's like, no, let's use these cards. Okay, we can use these cards. We can use whatever cards. Whatever cards. Aries. Action. Saturn. Cancer. Ooh. I don't know. She was a little bit conflicted. She wanted to go to work, but she didn't want to go to work. She was emotional about something. What was she conflicted about? Um, what was she conflicted about? I feel like she, she, was, she was ecstatic about something and then she was conflicted. Like she was happy and she wasn't. And there was some kind of an emotional thing going on with her, but I don't think she discussed it with anybody. I don't think she discussed it with anybody. Somebody has offered her something. Somebody offered her something. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to show you the cards. Of course, you know, per usual. Again, you all, you know, you all will be like, well, Kirtana, we were waiting for you to, to do the reading for so-and-so, but you're doing a reading for this. Y'all, I'm so sorry. There is no rhyme or reason as to why I pick and choose who. It's not that I have any favorites or I'm biased or I'm going to do certain cases that certain people suggested before others. It's nothing like that. Rest assured. It's really what my guides drive me and they say, okay, you know, I mean, it really is that. Okay, so please know that. Don't feel bad. I have that big list. I'm going to get around to it. <laughs> I promise you, I'm going to get around to it. I should show you that little bookie thingy. And, I mean, that's just, uh, of course, I have to strike her name out. I didn't even write her name, though. Let me show you. Uh, all this, like, I have three pages of that. I'm not even going to show you everything because I have other stuff written. Anywho, let's get on with this. So we have Aries, Saturn, Cancer, Virgo, and Fire. So what? I don't even know her birthday. I don't know her date of birth. I don't know nothing. She was definitely wanting to take action regarding something or she wanted to do something but she was conflicted she was holding back i wonder if she was pregnant and she didn't tell anybody about it and she was conflicted she didn't know whether she wanted to continue the pregnancy or not um even though this is a saturn card the message i'm getting is yes there is a possibility she might have been pregnant she was very emotional very very emotional she didn't know what to do she didn't know who to tell she didn't know why she didn't know like you know what do i do where do i go how do i do this um, and then you have the Virgo card, and of course the Virgo card, as we all know, right, is ruled by Mercury. It's a very earthy card, and it's all about, you know, being very particular about things. So she's like, well, I am so particular about so many things, and if people find out that I'm pregnant, it's going to create a big mess. There's going to be a lot of, lot of uh, heat to deal with. I don't know if I want to deal with that heat, okay? So, so... Somebody tell me if Leah Crouch had a boyfriend or something like that.
somebody tell me that because I am seeing or even a one night stand or somebody who wasn't a boyfriend but like a friend and they just kind of got a little, either they got a little tipsy and they had sexual relations and next thing you know without any intentions of hooking up and without any intentions of being in a committed relationship, next thing you know she's, she finds out she's pregnant and, and she doesn't know what to do. Oh, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let me show you. Okay. So I'm going to say this. We got the judgment, the sun, the fool, the moon, and the world. A beautiful card. If you look at these cards by themselves, I'd be like, wow, that's an awesome reading. So she was definitely trying to make a decision with regards to whatever that situation remember i said it was like take action or not take action take action or not take action so she had she had to make a decision she did make a decision and the decision was to terminate the pregnancy or terminate whatever it was that she was going to terminate and then she felt emotionally i'm going to be free and i'll be able to move on without any um without any um, regret or you know whatever like move on freely right she felt that she'd be able to move on and get on with life and do whatever it is that she had to and then you have the moon card and all of a sudden she's like questioning herself and doubting herself and she's like oh what do i do where do i go how do i get this done and then she's like okay fine if i don't do it you know it's, i'm going to face a lot of heat i don't want to face that heat so i'm with the 21 the world card it's like i'm going to make sure that uh, this is going to be successful and I'm going to complete this and get it done and over with. But the moon, moon card uh, under Virgo, it says that she was definitely conflicted about going home and telling her parents, but for some reason she chose not to because she really, really, really felt that something is like they wouldn't be that accepting i'll tell you something though her father there's something about her father that is kind of she's like my dad and she's holding back she's like she's kind of holding back with her she's she's almost like uh, okay please listen listen everybody okay what is this sticking out there please know that just because i'm saying this don't go and harass them and don't do anything because let the law enforcement do what they need to do this is what my tarot is telling me and every single individual is held is innocent until proven guilty so please don't do any stupid i don't anything stupid i don't condone it i don't i'm not encouraging you to do that i'm not telling you to do that i have no part of it these are my observations you do your own due diligence do your own research and form your own opinions okay these are my observations and my opinions purely from a tarot perspective the energy i'm getting from leah is so that's a disclaimer the energy I'm getting from Leah is like she's kind of she's she's not so easily you know her relationships with fathers and stuff she's like kind of a, like there's something going on with her father that she's not showing me just yet we'll find out what it is okay let's find out I'm going to kind of leave these cards right here for a second I may end up moving it but for now we'll just leave it something about her father were her parents having issues at home before she, like, the day she disappeared, like her parents struggling through the marriage or something? There's something about her father. Her father's hiding something. I'm not saying he's responsible for her disappearance or anything. I'm not seeing none of that just yet. But I'm just saying there's something about dad that she's kind of holding back. She's, she wants to say something, but, but she can't. Something about that. What, what is it about? Tell me. Tell me what I need to know. No. Did, did they have the financial issues? So let me show you guys. So what I'm seeing is uh, Knave of Chalices, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Chalices and uh, Seven of Cups. In other words, Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups and Seven of Cups. A lot of cups, a lot of emotional energies. 
I feel like she was trying to trying to make a peace offering or trying to trying to take an offer to somebody, and that offer was not not really uh, appreciated. Like she was taking an offer of peace towards somebody, and she was like, you know, I come in peace. Can we resolve this? Can we do? And that was not accepted because whoever this individual is is a male. You can see this individual like literally. Look at this picture, okay? Literally, that's that's what I'm saying. This individual is like, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? What do I do? What do I do? What do I? Wait. Okay. What? I, okay. Side note. I watch Bill Burr. I mean, he's a comedian, and he's he could be a little over the top for some people. And there's one thing he's got about ashy, uh, no, about lotion and about ashy elbows. And I was like, do I have ashy elbows? Yeah, because I'm resting like this. <laughs> Anyhow, see. A squirrel, squirrel. Okay, so he's literally going, oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? I have a feeling the father might have had some financial issues, or maybe he was struggling with his job or something like that. And then with the Knight of Pentacles, I think somebody came and gave him an offer, not to sell her or buy her or anything, nothing like that. Okay, somebody came and gave him a, gave him an offer and saying, look, I'm coming forth with this offer. Can you? I'm willing to do this for you, but I need you to work with me also and come come halfway and meet me. And then you have the mother, the Queen of Cups, and she's sitting there and she's going, what is going on? Is everything falling apart around us? What is going on? Tell me what's going on. So, and then you have the Seven of Cups, right? And the Seven of Cups is like uh, um, choices and commitments and issues and, you know, you have way too many choices and you don't know what, you're, what to pick on, so you're kind of playing playing, buying time and saying, oh, I'll wait, I have so many choices, it's not going to run away anywhere, I'll take my time making my decision, and boom, before you know it, that window of opportunity for you to make your decision is gone. So something's going on there, yep, nine of wands, so there we go, nine of wands is uh, the inability to keep and maintain boundaries. So I'm going to say that they may have had some financial issues. I think the mother was a little bit sheltered, but I think Leah somehow knew something was amiss. And something about the father, I don't know. I Okay, y'all, I'm telling you this. What I'm getting is uh, maybe there's a misappropriation of funds. I don't know. Again, one more time, don't run off and don't whatever. So everybody's innocent until proven guilty. Let law enforcement do their due diligence and do what they need to. This is just what I'm getting. So let's just misappropriation of funds. I don't know whether it's related to a job or family savings were, were, were blown up and kind of just lost or I don't know. she didn't like the day she disappeared or whatever she didn't pass right away she was confined for a bit she was definitely confined for a bit and then she passed she's completely like I don't know y'all yeah she's passed yeah yeah yep 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 terrible isn't it oh y'all I um I'm still working on my new cards and I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of getting a little antsy right now because I've got so much work to do and I feel like, where did the time fly? I'm not getting things accomplished like my website and my own uh, tarot cards that I'm trying to do work on. And actually, I've been working on for a while uh, and I don't want to rush that because it's, it's um, you know, I'm, I'm doing it because I want to. I mean, I really don't care if it sells or not. I'm just doing it and I'm going to put it out there. If anybody buys it, they will. If not, they won't. Um, anyhow, so I have 20, right? 20 is judgment. Then I have Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, 10 of Cups, and then I have the Fool card in the reverse and Six of Swords in the reverse. She did not pass immediately. She was confined. And then subsequently she passed, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, whatever that that 
opportunity that she might have had or she thought she had was somehow snatched away from her. So I feel like she might have had a small window of opportunity to actually get out of the situation that she was in, but she didn't. And then Ten of Cups shows up because she's like, you know what, maybe I'll just sink into this and I'll fall into this and maybe I'll just, I'll just forget about my real life. There was a false sense of security. Her brains were not, like she wasn't thinking clearly. And then she's like, okay, I'll just sink into this, accept this to be my life and I'll, I'll just get on with it. But unfortunately, she couldn't do that because her willingness and wanting to take, uh, take a giant leap of faith was cut short. Okay, it was cut short. And then you have the six of swords in, in reverse and then all that grieving, giving, receiving, you know, I'm um, not grieving, giving, receiving, you know, generosity, help and everything with the, um, and the, you know, whatever she thought she might have been able to get from somebody else, she, uh, I think her father, I think, I think she was, she was afraid of her father because she felt that her father would judge her really much. I think that was the heaviness she carried in her soul. But with the six of swords in the reverse, it's like, that necessary transition and the need to relocate and move on was suddenly cut short because this means you have an opportunity to relocate and move on but this is that opportunity was taken away from taken away from her which deck am i using yeah uh let me see it's very unfortunate y'all she didn't want that happy life but the the typical happy life but whatever this this the situation is that she got stuck in she she kind of just kind of said, okay, forget it. I'm just going to accept this to be the norm. And what am I doing? Not even this does. Well, hang on a second. But I'm also seeing money over here. I, there seems to be an issue like, is anybody tracking like her, her, like whatever money she got from her job or whatever? Like where did that money go? I feel like there's been some misappropriation of her money even after she passed. Like I feel like if she had like a bank account or something, I feel like somebody has tried to withdraw money from her bank account. I do not know who or why, but after she went missing her, her bank account, kind of I feel like somebody's either tried to deplete it, like, or it could be the bank only, like you know how you have to maintain a minimum balance or whatever, and if you don't, then they keep charging you and charging you. Or somebody tried, oh, she's got a lot of reversals. She's got a lot of reversals. And I'll read them because you know these are my cards, right? My own my own thingamajiggies. So let's do that. So definitely that solitude, okay? And then we have the oh see the bank. Right under this y'all, right under this I get this card. So this card says, guard your riches and secure your property, but it's in the reverse. So definitely something about her assets or whatever she, whatever little money she had has been depleted from her account. I feel that if they trace it, like, yeah, granted, right? You know, sometimes if you don't, uh, if you have a service on, or on auto pay and if you don't stop it, then they keep withdrawing and then it's, it's so much drama to get the money reimbursed to you um, if you're lucky enough. Uh, or it could be the bank just saying, oh, you're not maintaining a, you know, you're not getting your monthly direct deposit from your uh, employer or you're not paying your bills. So therefore, we're going to charge you service fees or whatever. But there's something else regarding the bank account. I feel like there is somebody in the bank that she used to go to or whatever that has some information about something. That banking thing is coming up very, very prominently. Y'all. And then we have the devil temptations and bad decisions. See? this was under this so definitely you know she did she just sank into those temptations and whatever and she's like it's good i'm just going to accept this part of my language i'm going to accept this and i'm going to sink into these temptations and whatever bad decisions and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to sink into it i know it's a bad decision I, I i'm just going to accept it and then you have um, perseverance long haul possible travel and work opportunities this was in the reverse as was this so whatever opportunities, that decision of hers, whatever opportunities she might have had, all gone. All gone. And then you have the full card in the reverse, which is, of course, zero, below the, the six of swords, right? Which is also in the reverse. So whatever chances, opportunities she had to move on, all cut shot. All cut shot. 
there's something more to this case, y'all. There's something more to this case. I'm very confident that she didn't pass immediately. I wouldn't be surprised if she, for a, for a while, took on a different personality. She could have been abducted, but whatever happened, and then she said, okay, fine, I'll do this for a little bit or whatever, and just see. Something weird, something where she definitely didn't die right away. Definitely didn't die right away. Ooh, look at this red-haired chick who's popped up here. Oh, wow. Leah, where are you, Leah? Did you get suckered into something that you should... Oh, seeing it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she's, she's no more with us. Okay? So, somebody go look at whoever it is in the bank, a teller or something, a young male guy. Okay? She definitely, for a, she has shared some information with a friend of hers. It might have been in passing, some conversation happened. And, you know, she might have been, I feel like Leah was not so forthcoming of whatever the situation was. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, so, um, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this and honestly I don't give a rip because I'm going to tell you what I see and as you know I don't filter. Remember I kept saying that she was kind of pushing back, she didn't want to talk about her dad, she didn't want to talk about her dad. There is a situation of some inappropriate behavior. Could be the donor of, oh god how do I even say this man, I mean like shoot. Why am I struggling with this so much? Because she's like, she doesn't want it to be known. She doesn't, she's afraid to say it because she's so concerned for the reputation of her parents and all that stuff. She doesn't want it to be known. I don't know, girl, you tell me, you want me to say it or not? <sighs> I hate when stuff like this happens and I, yeah, I didn't have lunch, okay, fine, but I had breakfast in the morning, but the tightening is, is the band, it's tightening, 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 so. Okay, Leah, yes or no question? Do you want me to say it or no? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Okay, I'm gonna ask you three times. I know what I'm seeing, but do you want me to say it or no? One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, yeah. Yeah, she, she, she's like, okay, one more time. I'm going to say it. I'll come at me, I'll do whatever, I don't care. But whatever, this is what I'm seeing. I hope to God I'm wrong. I mean, I truly hope to God I'm wrong, but I don't control these messages. I don't pull them out of my back pocket. So, my guides, you better be telling me. got another yes so two yeses out of uh, three then I'm gonna say it so um, and I trust my guys you all I'm telling you I trust my guys she's so afraid to come out and say it in the open because she feels that it would bring shame out and it will be very very difficult for her family to deal with uh, and she's very concerned about that there's still a lot of love for her parents a lot of love for her father I definitely feel there were some incestual, incestual relationships I, I wouldn't be surprised if the father is the one who got her pregnant. I wouldn't be surprised. She has shared some little information like that with somebody. With a brunette lady or buddy or whoever, friend of hers in the passing. 
not really come out and say, oh, I was molested, but more like, you know, asking questions about cases like this. How do you deal with, where do you go? She completely, completely felt that she was absolutely at rock bottom. She did not know what to do, how to do. There is a young person in the bank who she did like, and she was very, very afraid to go and tell him to, because she's like, yeah, you and I made out one or two times, but now I'm pregnant. I don't know if it's this, you or this guy or whatever. So you are the father, and he's like, you know, let's like, Because the image that the father is portraying is that he is, you know, hardworking and he is this, that, and the other. And then you have the Ace of Cups. It's like, yeah, and you, yeah, she was. She, oh, I'm just going to cut the shot. She was definitely pregnant. Definitely, absolutely. Oh my goodness, why do these things? And maybe that's what she was so conflicted about taking action or not. Should I terminate the pregnancy? Should I keep it? Who do I tell? Who do I go? How do I do it? Will they believe me? The usual remorse. Oh my goodness. Damn it! Stop with messing my head. Stop messing with my head. I'm getting so, like, it's like, I can't. This is... Okay, focus. kidding me man seriously like seriously people like what in God's crazy world is going on okay wish granted the devil card Jack okay check out this crafty youth the devil card again then we have treasury you know lots of irons uh, too many irons in the fire then we have cemetery, then we again have money, purse, wallet, bank account, a lot of pillow talk, a lot of flirtation, okay, um, ownership, work, and then we have, uh, what you call, uh, uh, um, unexpected road to new love and meetings and unexpected romances in the reverse. So whatever she felt for that young man in the banking system or somebody over there, or it could be at work too because the pentacles card can pop in up, the uh, page of pentacles or knight of pentacles, or it is somebody related to her work or somebody who worked at the bank. So she had a soft spot for him. And, uh, you know, although they weren't really in a committed relationship, they kind of were okay with each other, but there was no commitment there. And I suppose if he had proposed that, hey, let's start dating and this, that, she would have gladly accepted it. But you have the two devil cards, right? The two devil cards are putting obstructions on both sides and saying, uh, no, because uh, you can't do that because I'm sitting here. I see that the two of you want to get on. I'm not going to let that happen because truly you belong to me. And it's all about self-serving and, and, you know, doing my own. Yeah, for, you're there for my own pleasure. I'm not going to let you go out and have fun on the side. No, that's not going to happen. So that devil energy, that controlling, that um, that energy of, of uh, being a um, puppet and puppeteer is very, very strongly here. Uh, there are too many irons in the fire. So I feel like that older male, who I think it's a dad, had a lot of things going on over there that he was, he was definitely overworked. He overworked, he was exhausted. There was some financial issues over there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some mismanagement of funds. I won't say misappro well, misappropriation, mismanagement of family uh, savings or even work-related stuff. There's something going on over there and he's trying to get out of it and he can't. Uh, at least, I don't know, if he has, then he, he's, he's asleep. Then we have the cemetery, ruined uh, church. And she's definitely, whatever the wishes she had, hopes, all gone, all gone. She's gone, she's not with us. Definitely money was misappropriated, mismanaged, 100% by the father. Would have affected the family really drastically. She kind of sort of knew about it. Smart little kid. Um, and there was a lot of this pillar talk and flirtation, a lot of hush-hush, 
hush hush thing oh this is not a good thing i am not liking this relationship i am not liking this relationship it's icky it's not nice it's not nice it's not nice it was going to the extent where she if it had continued for another little bit then it would have been a codependent relationship i am so disappointed so disappointed oh my goodness and then we have the six um it says a road to new love and happiness and meetings and all that it's all it's all gone to pot because it was taken away from her because for a brief period of time she really considered like sinking into it and accepting her fate and saying okay this is what it is i'm just going to deal with it and get on with it and then you know it kind of all fell apart oh my god the poor girl you know y'all I'm, i'm telling you i mean i i i love doing this because for me the goal is to help people i love it but sometimes it takes such a toll it's like Ay 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 I I need to kind of take a break but and you know the funny thing is my guides yeah my guides you know they're so pushy oh my y'all y'all can laugh all you want but I'm telling you people who are mediums and psychics y'all know what I'm talking about and I swear I'm not smoking anything I never smoked and never will <laughs> okay but they can get like literally like I kid you not I feel sometimes that somebody from from behind me is like literally pushing me into my study room and saying go sit there and do a reading. I have literally felt that energy at times. I don't know how to explain it. And it's a weird thing. And and I'll be like okay 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 fine and then Mark will be sitting there in the living room and and he'll like what happened who are you talking to? and i'm like uh i i just don't feel like doing a reading but i've been i'm being pushed to do a reading and initially when i used to say that he'd be like what is she talking about and then when i explained to him he kind of figured it out so now when he hears me say that okay okay fine he'd be like just do it and get it over with you'd be you feel better and sure enough i'll do it and get it over and i'll feel better then i literally feel an energy like almost a person standing there literally shoving me or like holding me not on my neck but you know the back up or back here and saying go go and do it right now see and i'm like <laughs> do you mind <laughs> can you give me a break <laughs> the answer is no <laughs> okay whatever <laughs> fine i keep on keeping on <laughs> all right lia The full card is popping up quite often. Chariot. The Queen of uh, Chalices. And I don't pen see these cards have been coming up. Okay, let me show you. Okay. Okay. So, sorry. Oh, it's too good. So the full card is saying yeah okay we have the full card we have the chariot we have the queen of chalices we have the knight of pentacles and knight of chalices uh Okay So let me do my math eight 10 So uh 18 uh, A person who's 38 years of age is involved in this. Somebody who is of the age of 38 she is in like uh, meadows meadows her mom is very prominent here her mom is like very prominent y'all you hear what i'm going to say i wouldn't be surprised if her mother is instrumental in resolving this case herself 
I wouldn't be surprised if the mother is a principal figure. The mother is going to push and push, and not so much the father, but the mother. And something the mother is like very, very prominent. Thirty-eight year old person is responsible for this. Okay, this individual also is interested in equestrian. Something to do with horses. I don't know why. Either a, a sure or a, a rides horses or something. It's like she's in meadows. Okay. This individual comes across as being a very nice person, happy-go-lucky person. Prakash Washington. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, y'all. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, Prakash. Hello. Hello. Oh. Uh, oh my goodness. That was. I don't know why they're calling me, but sorry about that, y'all. I thought I had. Okay. So this person comes across as being a very happy, very nice, like, you know, easygoing fella or easygoing girl, like very cool, calm and, you know, very nice, you know, chipper all the time and stuff. But uh, this individual also, I feel like, wears a, a necklace with a big pendant. Like if you look at the, I don't know what, I can't see what exactly the pendant is, but if it's a female, it's you know, or male, men also wear jewelry, right? So it's like a necklace and like a pendant type of thing. I don't know if it is, uh, okay, stop. I don't know if it's a long necklace, but it's like this, it's like almost like here. So you can, so if they're wearing a shirt, you can see it. This person has been victorious in certain competitions. This person is an equip, oh, what is that? Can you stop? So. 38 years old. The lady who recommended, I'm not going to tell you her name, I'm not recommended, actually asked me to do this reading. Uh, of course, I'm going to message you and I'm going to tell you on you know, private messaging and Facebook that I just posted it. You look at this video and come back and let me know what's going on. If the, any of this makes any sense. I'm also going to say this person rides motorbikes. Oh, so weird. Why are they telling me a motorbike? Like the Harley Davidson kind of motorbikes? Ooh. Yeah. She's, she's not with us, but she didn't die right away. Um, she's, she's not with us. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you know, definitely there was some kind of a, she fought, she fought for sure. She had a lot of strength. She had a lot of strength. She almost got away. She almost got away, y'all. She almost got away. Oh, you know what I feel, y'all? This is definitely a case. This is definitely a case. Wait, this is how it came out. Uh, actually, this is how it came out. Okay, sorry, I have to hold it right. There we go. Okay, so what I'm seeing is, this was how it was. I definitely see that, um, this is not like conspiracy theory and Oh, she got abducted and went into the human trafficking thing. No, nothing like that. I'm not seeing any of that. So let me show you. So let me tell you what I see. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles, definitely money is, is being very prominently shown. So either they had some struggles or some misappropriation of funds. Then you have the Sun card. The Sun card is definitely like, you know, remember I said Seven of Wands. What was Seven of Wands? Uh, she fought, she fought, she fought really hard. She did fight hard. She, whatever. And then she tried to get away. She did get away with the Six of Swords. She made a brief escape. Okay. And then with the five of wands, she actually smart kid. She tried to negotiate with this person and say, let me go, let me go. And it, and it didn't work out. Uh, she did try to negotiate. Oh my, she, she definitely 
try to negotiate. And then we have the star card, right? And the star card is ruled by Aquarius, right? And the Aquarius is saying that, okay, she had hope. She felt that she could get away. She did get away, y'all. She did get away briefly, briefly. She did get away. But then, unfortunately, she couldn't get too far. And then the world card, so it was a completion and she was eliminated. Um, 38 years old, into a question. It has something to do with horses. Either rides horses, works on horses, works in a barn or... Uh, likes horses or has a hobby or whatever in meadows like meadows I see like that meadows okay and then also something about Harley Davidson 38 years old why is 38 so prominent they're keeping they're going on and on and on about 38 what's 38 what is a zip code can anybody tell me the last two digits of a zip code or, okay, here's what I'm going to say. The last two digits of, or whatever, last two or first two digits of a zip code or a house number or a car number or a telephone number. I don't know exactly why, but the number 38 is again, they're like, they're telling me, say 38, 38, 38. So it's not, I'm not talking about the age of the person. I'm, that number is being like very, very, um, like literally like, Seven mile radius is where you're going to either find her or find the person, that 38 year old person who would be a link. That's it for y'all. That's all I got. Blank. So I'm going to say seven mile radius is where you're going to either find her, oh God, I look so tired, don't I? And or you're going to find that 38 year old individual who lives there and that could lead to something. So I do, I'm going to end there because I'm just like, blank Tush. it's like gone so i think i still have time to do another one for aiden for she i'm going to see i'm going to like get up and take a break and see if i finish that i'll do it now otherwise i'll finish that private personal reading and then do aiden for you thank you so much for watching everybody give me a thumbs up please subscribe and of course your comments are welcome always let me know because for me also it's a, it's curiosity right is it making sense is it like you know what's happening because I don't know anything except for the fact that her name is Laura Croucher. So thank you. Stay safe, everybody, okay? Love you. See you in the next video. Bye.